Welcome back. Well, she's known for her big hair, big nails and big heart, and she'll be channeling a big crowd at the Dally Event Center next week in Saginaw. Long Island medium Teresa Caputo chatted with our David Custer about her live show and she shared some secrets with him about how to recognize signs from your departed loved ones. Take a listen. I'm joined now by Teresa Caputo, who has a show coming to the Dow Event Center on October 8th called The Experience. So real quick, before we get into some deep conversation, tell me about The Experience. So the experience is literally like watching Long Island Medium Live. It's I come out on a stage, I give a quick speech um, in case if someone isn't familiar with what I do or never seen Long Island Medium before and what they can expect over the next two hours. The second I start sensing and feeling spirit, I'm off of that stage, down in the crowd, uh, cameras follow me around, we have screens set up uh, in the theater, so no matter where you're seated, you can feel and be a part of the experience. And I know a couple of people that have been to your show and they told me it was phenomenal. And you actually singled out one of my really, really good friends. Oh, so really? She had an incredible experience. So, and you haven't been on the road in a while because of the pandemic. So I imagine it's great to be back you know, um, with people. Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. We never thought, uh, we didn't know how long we would be out of, out like not doing live entertainment, right? So to right. be back out on the road and to be doing this, I'm so grateful to have that opportunity to still share my gift all over the country. Yeah, and let's talk about that real quick. Uh, let's talk about your gift, Teresa, because I'm one of those people that I feel like when I'm in a room, I just feel everybody's emotion. Mm. And sometimes it's a burden. And I was, yeah. I, I was sitting there thinking about before this interview, with your gift, I imagine it can be very overwhelming at times because you're connecting with everybody's loved ones. Well, that's one of the main things that I had to learn how to understand about my gift. Like, I believe we all have that connection with our own departed loved ones. I have the ability to communicate with everyone's loved ones. Uh, so for you, um, you being able to feel other people's emotions, uh, they refer to that as being empathic. And yeah. I do, I, I understand that because I do feel the way a soul died. They will bring me through their departure. So I just... I don't know how I'm able to do it. I just allow the information to come through me. I don't hold on to it. So I always say, so a little tip, if you ever walk into a room and you feel things and you know that it's not your emotion, just simply say, be gone, you are not of me. So you're acknowledging the energy in the room, but they're not your feelings and emotions. No, that is a great tip. I'm going to take that to heart because sometimes it's just mentally exhausting once you leave the room. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. You know, you walk in a room and all of a sudden you got a headache or you start getting and feeling things. Right. So it's all about learning on just how to like channeling that or funneling that through your physical body and not holding on to it. Great. OK, so let's talk about something you actually just mentioned, though. Do you believe that everybody has in some way, shape or form a small piece of your gift? And if they do, how can they tap into it just a little bit? So the first thing that I tell everyone, when we lose a loved one, the only thing that we lose is that physical connection. That soul bond can never and will never be broken. And I want people to know that all those little things that go on around them that they think that are odd or weird, or it simply might just remind them of their departed loved ones to know that that is their loved one's soul, giving them a sign that they are with them at that exact moment. Because that's the other crazy thing. You can't make that up. You know what you see, you know what you feel, right? And it reminds you of them. That's them. It, it kind of restores our faith and gives us hope. Yeah. And so I, I would assume too, like, you know, we know our loved ones better than everybody else. So we would know what those signs are. We just have to look out for them. Exactly. Just be open to it. Be, just be open to it and embrace it. And, and always thank them for the little hellos from heaven. And you're doing a podcast now too called Yes Spirit. Yeah, hey spirit. So um, what I learned through the pandemic, one of the silver linings for me was that I found out that Zoom was like the new phone reading. And not only was I able to connect people with, you know, in the tri-state area or even all over the country, but now all over the world. So we have a hotline that people can call. It's one 866 t Caputo and leave a message and you never know, we might just call you back and have you as a guest on Hey Spirit. That's phenomenal. So I imagine you've, uh, a lot of people have, you know, called into the podcast and have there been some incredible experiences? Uh, they, uh, honestly, and I don't mean to sound cliche, but every experience is so incredible because it changes somebody's life. It gives them that hope and that peace that 
that like that missing piece that they need to yeah. to continue to heal and to move on with their life here in the physical world. And I think that's the thing that I love about spirit. They validate for us that from the moment the soul leaves the physical body, they leave behind every and any disability and or ailment. They don't take it with them. So that's why I love like if you come to the experience, you'll see spirit channeling with their personality because no one else knows your loved one's personality, but you, right? Right. And I love that. I, I love when spirit does that. So when you're in a room with, uh, you know, hundreds of people at the experience, I mean, when you're sharing what's coming through, is it like who's screaming the loudest or like, how do you connect to, to let people know like, okay, then is trying to say this louder than everybody else. Like how's well, usually the screaming is from the people in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> the dead are very polite. <laughs> um, but it, it, that's the interesting thing. I try to explain to people that what happens is the souls band together. So the souls that speak are the souls that can deliver as many messages at one time. So there are going to be times where I might be speaking to someone and maybe five other people might be connecting with it as well. Just embrace it as a sign from your loved ones. And spirit also, it's a knowing for me. So I'll know if I'm in the right area, if I'm standing in front of the right person, I'll be like, this could still be your loved one, but I'm not standing in the right spot. I have to move. Spirit will make me feel that. I don't oh. know how it works. Like, that's the crazy thing. I have no idea how this works. It just happens. I start to sense and feel things that mean nothing to me, but are life-changing to the person that I'm standing in front of. You know, Teresa, you know, since the show, you know, there has been um, a big component of celebrity and fame now uh, with your gift. Um, has it been good? Has it been bad? Are you doing what you're supposed to be doing right now? I feel that I am doing uh, God's work. I'm doing what I was meant to do here in the physical world. I am very blessed that I had the opportunity to have the show on uh, TLC and to be part of the Discovery family, to be able to connect with people all over the world, to be able to be aware and a part of my gift and to heal millions of people every week in their living room. Uh, it was it's such a, a pleasure to do that. And now being able to take it on the road and doing live shows and people to feel it in a room, I am absolutely doing exactly what I'm supposed to be. I'm sure you get a lot of positive feedback, but I do want you to know, like when I mentioned that I was interviewing you when I was around at dinner, I mean, like three of the women just went crazy. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Show. And it was the most experience, like great experience. Just like we're all buying tickets, we're all getting tickets right now, right now. And they got on the phone, they bought tickets to your oh, show. You are I changing people's lives. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Good for you. All right, before I let you go, I mean, anybody here to see me? I just have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? This is 10, 10 wins. I'll give you, I'll give you five minutes, I'll give you the world. <laughs> I try. Why don't you come down to the show? We'll see what happens. I might actually be there. <laughs> Teresa, I appreciate you talking with me so much. It's oh, a pleasure. Thank you. I appreciate it as well. You have an awesome day. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>